2018 on Facebook Marketplace. And for the last four years, it's remained undercover. I've done nothing to it. It's a bit of a basket case. So let's reveal it. Okay, so why did I buy a 1962 Beetle in such bad condition? Well, I've never owned a VW Beetle. I've had a couple of panel vans, Type 2s, obviously. My best being a 1978, which was fully restored in a lovely Daytona yellow and grey. Unfortunately, I had to go to university. I couldn't take it with me. So at the time, which we were talking 20-odd years ago, shows my age, it got part exchanged for a motorbike for my dad, and I got a measly £1,500 for it. Okay, what have I let myself in for then? Let's have a quick look around and see what needs doing. Okay, first of all, start the front. These complete new front balance, obviously bumper as well. Suspension's seen better days, but actually isn't too bad. It's not corroded. Obviously it was originally red. Had a few repairs in the past. Floor's non-existent in the corners. A pillar's gone. Beat channel's gone. The wing's gone. A pillar needs repairing. A little bit around there. Not too bad. What's the gutters like? The gutters on the driver's side, fairly good. Not corroded. The roof is all right. Lovely bit of patina. Same with the bonnet. Floor pans, as expected, non-existent. A lovely great hole on that one. And again, quite a bit of work to be done in here as well. Back end isn't too bad. The rear valance needs replacing as it's corroded. It's obviously had an impact at some point. But then if you're into restoring things, you're not gonna try to salvage secondhand 50 year old items like that. 50? No, it's 60, isn't it? The engine bay itself is fairly solid. Needs minimal work. Right, the original gearbox is still in place, although I'll probably change this out or uprate it because the powertrain going in the back of this, if we even get to that stage of this restoration, is going to be something a little bit different. Certainly one that the purists will hate, although I'm not a purist. Externally, yes, I love the sound of a flat four air cooled, but I'm going for something a little bit different with this one. And no, it's not Subaru Impreza engine. Move around to the other side again. This is fairly tidy. Nothing a bit of a sandblast won't do. Again, originally red, red. Again, original red paint. Get your words out, Sam. A bit more repair job there. Doesn't look too bad on the arches, to be fair. Outrigger's gone. That's to be expected. Again, gutters on this side. Very good, to be honest. That is, until you get to here. Uh, it's completely gone. And there, again, quite a bit of work to do. So windows out job on this one. Moving down. Where's the floor? Gone. <laughs> wow. I don't even know if I've got the skills to do this. Probably not, but. Right, moving on to this bit. Moving on to the A pillar. A little bit of a hole there. Again, this size. Oh, yeah, pushed a bit in there, lovely. Again, inner arches have been patched in the past. We'll need doing again properly this time, not just patching. There we go, the lower balance bit. It's completely gone. In fact, you can see, won't do it. Lovely. 
bonnet itself is fairly straight. It's good, it's just the leading edge. It's corroded. Don't even know if it's worth repairing that or see if I can just source a second hand bonnet. Creaky just like me. Step on its own. It'll do a bit twisted, isn't it? Oh, it's very rusty. No fuel tank. <laughs> These springs come off here, isn't it? a lot left in there at all. A couple of bolts holding that side on. This side is free because it's rotted off. Yep. Okay, is this worth saving? Thoughts on a postcard? It certainly is very corroded. But again, it's an early 60s Beetle. It's probably worth saving. I'm going to give it a crack anyway, I think. Holy shit. It's like a rust beach going on here. Lovely. Amazing. Slowly going back to nature. It's my back. Ouch. I think the best bet is to get the whole thing sandblasted and then go from there. So let's take a closer look inside and see what's left. Not a lot, as you can see. No floors, no inner wings, no outriggers, no heater channels. Although it is fairly solid in the back and the roof, which is always a plus. No way, it's still got the interior light hanging out. It also still has its original metal VW ignition key. Complete with Volksworld retro key fob. Key fob, it's not a bloody key fob, you idiot. Anybody know what year that's from? Okay, you might be thinking, was I crazy to even buy this? I'll show you the main reason why. Well, it came with most of the panels needed to repair it. We have a brand new pair of floor pans. Yes, they're looking a bit surface rusty now because they've been in storage for about five years plus, but they are still solid. Pattern parts, obviously, again, came with it as part of the deal. We also have, oh, tripped over it. Box of goodies, including all the rear lights, the poke nose for the deck lid. We have the inner wheel arch repairs. And a couple more repair panels. We have the door hinge repair panels. We also have a brand new set of heater channels, or heat exchanges, whatever you want to call them. And then a couple of more repair panels over there. It also came with its original deck lid as well, which is in very good condition, just needs a bit of bodywork doing to it. So that's why I bought it. All I had to really source were the two front doors and a bit of gutter section. The rest I shall uh, buy as the restoration progresses. It will need obviously a full wiring loom, fuel tank, all the electrics doing, the interior I've got, but we'll need re-trimming, new steering wheel, all the gauges. I do have the windscreen, but that's wrapped up nice and safe somewhere. I say somewhere, I don't know where, but I've got it. <laughs> I have slowly been collecting parts for it. Obviously not the bay window front end that's being turned into a bar. I've got a pair of lovely California import doors, completely rust free, ready to go on. Sometime before that happens though, Another video coming soon. Well, I say soon. At some point, no doubt. Pick the front end up locally for 20 quid. 
I'm going to tidy it up and make a wooden top for it, put it on caster wheels and have a mobile bar. Okay, a pair of uh, pre-67 rear wings, obviously pattern parts that have been primed and obviously been in storage. It starts to get a bit of surface rust, but it's still completely solid. We also have a pair of genuine pre-67 sloping headlight front wings. These are in very good condition, no corrosion whatsoever. Obviously been in storage a long, long time. And finally, I picked this up off eBay a couple of years ago for 20 quid. Passenger side, gutter section, roof section has been cut. And the bit that I will need is absolutely intact. It even comes with a bit of headlining. And a grab handle. And that about wraps things up. Hopefully not for another four years. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like or even subscribe. And until next time, goodbye. Ah, shit. <laughs>